everyone. Hello. Welcome to Amy's home, not Magnolia's. <laughs> I'm Amy. How are you? I'm Kate. <laughs> Welcome to Amy's holiday home tour. We need a little glass of juice. Whew, We're calling we... it juice for the sake of Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll get started. Thank you. There's your juice. My dark red juice. And Thank your you. Sippy cup. Thank you for joining us tonight. Welcome to my home. This is Magnolia's coming to you from Amy's home, and we decorate our homes mm. twice a season, twice a year, every season, three, three. times. We've think, been doing yeah, three times. Three times a year. Okay, we're going to sample no, a little. No, you can't talk. Not Facebook. <laughs> sample a little juice. <laughs> juice. It's juice, okay? <laughs> hello, hello. So our camera's a little far away to see your comments. We will get to them shortly. Welcome and hello. Thank you for joining us. We are sitting by the cozy fireplace. Mm -hmm. It did chill, turn to a chilly evening today, it a little did. bit of nip in the air. So, hey, it's perfect for a fireplace tonight, which yes. creates the perfect ambiance for a holiday home tour. So I yep. hope you enjoy this one. Uh, our home is not huge, it's not fancy, but it is cozy, and I'm so happy to have you here tonight. Thank you. Yes, this is our real Real house. This it's a real house. Not a fake house. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real house. But we did yes. stage it so that way we could show you the latest and the greatest, exactly how mom would style it in her space. And we have, right. uh, it's funny because we buy all this together. We shop together. I think in general we have similar styles, but wow, the way you decorated your house is entirely different than how <laughs> I decorated mine. Isn't that funny? It is. And you did such a beautiful job on your house. Yes. She went with red. Yep which I love, and I have a burgundy red uh, living room to show you, yeah. as well as this family room, which is champagne, gray, taupe, mm, white, champagne, silver. gray, taupe, white, mm -hmm. silver, all the metals, but very soft and yeah. ethereal, yeah. I think would be the concept here. So yeah. very excited to have you on board. Welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. Can't see all your comments, but we will get to them the soon. camera's so far away, but <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. But we're excited to show you. Um, I did try to get everything in a, col in a collection. And so I actually put the link in the title of this video, so ah, you can watch that after. I would recommend just watch the whole video, enjoy, and then go click on that link after the live, and you can shop all the things that mom has in her home here. Uh, if you needed to go back and watch mine, my collection link is available too. It's all it's there. all on the website. Super easy to find. We hope that you enjoy these little videos. We're taking you into our homes and our spaces and decorating them with all of the beautiful things that we have this year and it's been a really fun year as far as the diversity of our styles in the store has gone i think so So it's fun to pull from those and do mashups of multiple different looks to get something completely new this tree is a mashup it's a completely new tree it's a yes. completely new concept from anything we show in the store which is the fun of it yeah and we brought these items home to create a new look here in our home space so that you can enjoy the products which if you see a, a tag or two forgive us because that is why yes yeah <laughs> but it works really well because you can see how to style these things i can photograph them uh i need to upload those to the online store but <laughs> Uh, the photos, yes. With some extra time in the day, I'll get it done. But we know you guys don't mind, and you're such amazing customers, and we've had such a fun year. It's kind of a nice, relaxing way to sure. show you something different. This is different. So our home is a 70s ranch. Mm -hmm. It was built when I was born. So this is a very fun space to renovate, and we have done all the bathrooms, all the bedrooms, all the carpet, all the floor, all the windows, all the window coverings. Yeah, it's changed The kitchen, a lot. everything, and finally I just ended up painting the fireplace because you really can't pull they it out. They haven't seen it yet, have they? <laughs> I don't think so. They haven't seen the painted fireplace. It looks really, really good. Uh, you can go and watch old uh, tours Last to see Christmas, what it used to look it like. It was brown and gray, mm -hmm. and now it is whitewashed. Well, even and in the spring it was brown and gray, right? Possibly. I did it this summer. Yeah. So we painted this brick, and I don't recommend it. It's a lot of work, but <laughs> because it's not truly painted, it is washed. Yeah. And the layers of color to get just the right shade mm -hmm. uh, because I, of the granite. Yes, you know, I put new granite on, and then I picked the paint. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that That's is why beautiful. we have a real fireplace, because the house was built in the 70s. But yes. we enjoy it, and 
on a winter night when my husband builds a fire and I come home and this is mm -hmm. this is where I sit. I yeah. love it. It's, it's my favorite. favorite. It's my yeah, favorite. Very favorite. Well, should we get started today? We should. So we'll come, I think we'll swing back through the fireplace and enjoy that. We have lots of, we have uh, three, two big trees and one little tree to show you today as well as some unique ideas for decorating, which I'm excited about. So okay, let's do lots that. Lots to see. I'll leave my wine here. I I'll take mine with me. Wine and drive the <laughs> gimbal at the same time. But so there's let's, lots of pretty let's stuff Let's take to a see. little tour here. This is our dining room and family room together. You know, we kind of use our dining table for holidays, just like all of you. The holiday time of the year is where we truly sit down and eat, unless our grandkids are over. Playing Play-Doh. Playing Play-Doh. This is the Play-Doh <laughs> table. So we're, uh, we're just using this wide open concept space and arranging it how it suits our family. So the dining room is tucked over in the corner over here, which creates a fun little space to decorate. It makes its own little nook. And the theme for this space is champagne, gray, beige tan taupe and white, any kinds of neutrals with the metals to keep it uh, sparkly. And we also did a lot of um, unique things that you may not find anywhere else. For instance, this tree I've had for many years. And now that I put this one up, which is my personal tree from, I probably have had it five or six years. We sold it one time at the store. I never saw it again, but this year for our store we have found somebody who does the snow branch trees and i have to say the ones at the store are much more beautiful than mine yeah yours is a little thinner the mine ones at the thin. store are a little thicker the ones at the store are very thick so we do have for sale this year a tree that you can see photographed in many ways at our store but it's the twig tree and it's available in a four foot and a six foot so mm -hmm. we have styled one here for you there are some for sale. They come pre-lit and I'm, I'm always enjoying this because it's just so different. And every time I decorate it, it's just a light touch. It doesn't need much light airy ribbons, um, that I placed in little bows, but the more you put on it, uh, the more it just overwhelms the beauty of the twigs. So we just style it very simply. The ones at the store are styled with burgundy ribbon. And you know, my favorite, I've told you all, I love these mushrooms. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things this year, a mercury glass mushroom, the snow capped little mushroom, but there's beautiful uh, reindeer this year. We had great luck finding lots of gorgeous deer. So there's a few platinum and silver and clear ornaments placed on the snowy twig tree. And the garland in the tree is really what takes that up a notch. Well, it's one piece woven through and we do have this metallic holly garland in gold. So the combinations of mixing the metals, um, the light airy touch of the holly was what we needed for this tree. Nothing heavy and then just a couple pieces, pieces of eucalyptus tucked in there, which is something you can just pull out of your cabinet from every day. If you want to use some eucalyptus with the snowy look, I really like it. And there is something that I see that we had last year that we just today got back in stock. Finally, we've been telling you all that, yes, we truly did order these. It only took three weeks to get here for right. whatever reason. But the set of one, two, three, four lighted LED orbs is back. I know you're so excited about this. We've had many requests. We bought a whole bunch. There's enough for everyone. Don't panic. Yes. So this is ornament, ornament, and this set of four are connected with a uh, cord set that's clear, and the battery pack is hiding underneath. Do you recall if these are timered? I don't recall. I don't either, but the description <laughs> of the product will tell you. They are kind of a cut glass effect with a bit of an opalescence to them. And all you do is pile it on a tray with some pine, and it looks amazing add a few extra ornaments, style it the way you would like, but this is a tray from our current collection. And this simple design is all it takes to make a wow mm -hmm. statement with those LED orbs. And that was our special buy last year. And this year we went with the uh, we did the candlestick Snowflake candle holder water globe for the special buy. Right. And for some reason we forgot to get this best seller in that hundreds but of you have for sure. By request. There it is. So there they it are. is available. 
Now we kept going with the stylizing mm -hmm. of all the different, well, I love trees. I buy so many for the store. I brought a few home to enjoy. This set of three is one of them. They're the, the Mila. Is this the Mila? Okay. They are a bluish green color with this ice encrusted finish over glass. Now these pieces use AA batteries and they are off on and timered. I just always can check, but this is a timered set and they're sold three to a set, small, medium, and large. And then I mixed them with the mercury glass set, which also lights up. I'll take it away from the lamp so you can see. We have a lot of different glass objects at the store with the trees. What I can tell you about the trees is that they're either glass and the opening on the bottom, you can put your own lights in, or with this set, the fairy lights come with it. The batteries that it operates with are double A's, and this is the medium. They're sold individually. Beautiful. So small ones on my fireplace, the medium and the large are stacked over here. And I just used my pedestal instead of the fern that sits here most of the time in the winter. We've styled it with a little book to elevate the tree and then the eucalyptus just winding through. But I dressed up the eucalyptus. You know, that's why you can use some of your everyday material sometimes. And this is the Senecio vine. Just add a little bling. Little wispy pine softens the look up and everything doesn't have to be a complete arrangement. It can just be light touches and that enhances the trees without upstaging them, I think. Beautiful pictures of my oldest daughter, Leah, in the background. Hey, I'm up there too. <laughs> You're on the other wall. Yes, you are. <laughs> this is the design I made at the store during one of my design lives. This is a signature centerpiece. If you want to look for that in our collection, we called it Amy's signature centerpiece. The floral design is one item and you can see here how I've laid it on the table, how large it is. It's about a 34 inch centerpiece. We've used some simple candle holders that we sell at the store, and I added a book underneath the back one there to give it some more staggered height. These mercury glass LED candles come as a set of three with a remote, so it's actually a four-part set. And this is the Christmassy look that you might want to do. If you have never bought the LED candles, this mercury glass could be part of an elegant home design all year round, or maybe vintage kind of styling if you do antiques. The mercury glass is definitely a unique finish. They run with AAA batteries and, or is it double A's? I don't remember. Okay. Beautiful nonetheless. They are, oh, triple A's. And you're going to enjoy them as timered setting. That's what I do. Just turn them on this time of the night. And every night when I come home, all of my timered items light up at the same time so I can walk in the door and see the beautiful lit everything at this time of the year, more than normal. Speaking of lit, this one is heavily loaded with lights. This is our 12 foot set of twinkle lights. So in this product, cluster lights, cluster lights yes, it comes with a little eight phase this is my air purifier. You might purifier. have to put your wine down to I might your have juice to put my down. Wine. <laughs> my juice. You have eight different settings here plus a timer. And this is the clear. You can see how they're hiding in here. So this is Amy's Signature Lux Garland. It's available in the online store. It is a mix of a now sold out snow pine, the uh, birch branch garland, the laurel leaf garland, the mica, mica. garland, and this glitzy crystal garland. So it's definitely loaded up and luxurious. Separately, you can add these ornaments. So to ornaments it. are fun to place in front of a mirror. It's one of my favorite things to do is use some kind of greenery to allow ornaments to drop in front of the glass. It's always stylish and always wow. Uh, this garland will probably sell out. I think we can do a variation and make another version if it does, if you're watching this in replay. And this pre-made piece, we made several, but I've heard that it, they're moving right along. So we'll, we'll design another, and we have the fireplace one to show you as well. So beautiful looks, and this is just hanging from one nail, by the way. The um, single nail at the top supports it, and the sturdiness of the wire of the garland keeps it shaped that way, and it doesn't slouch. It's just a very heavily wired garland that supports it. Hey, let's take a look at this tree. Oh. This was a lot of fun to design. Uh, I and wanted to point out your new... Oh, patio my shade. new patio shade yeah holy cow it's so stunning thank you captivating <laughs> windows 
Our sister company, Captivating Windows, we sell Hunter Douglas blinds and shades, and this is a Hunter Douglas Luminette. It is automated, and I don't have my phone to, uh, to move it, but we move it with the phone, or you can use the remote that's on the wall. But I actually have it set on a timer, so it follows the sunrise and sunset, and it opens for me in the morning, and it closes for me at sunset. Stunning. It, it will filter the light, tilt and louver, while looking beautiful, kind of like drapery. So that's love that my piece. whole house is. My whole house is automated, <laughs> and I will too. never go back. That's right. Once you try automated things, you just don't want to change. Yep. So the concept for the tree came to me when I was trying to use, um, I love the ribbon. I think the ribbon was my inspiration. This watercolor gray ombre ribbon that is the damask. And it has kind of a champagne color, a gray and taupe and silver all together. And these gorgeous magnolias were part of our midnight ice look, but they're really not making, they're not taking center stage on our tree at the store. And I brought them here and made them the showy, the showy look for the tree. So lots of clear ornaments, a little bit of frostiness. And we used the base of this tree is the Telluride tree. This is the seven and a half Telluride. Same tree at my house. The reason I used it is because the Durham is nearly sold out. That was my other choice. So I didn't want to take that out of your inventory <laughs> for you. But we do have the Telluride available in a 9 foot and in a 7 foot currently as you're watching this. Um, with the design of the tree, the structure is very nice and open. So you can create lots of layers. It has the natural tip that is injection mold. And there is PVC at the base of each pine spray. So the combination of the plastic and the PVC creates a tree that's great for designing because we can hook our heavy duty ornaments on the, the PVC tips and allow these plastic tips to be light and airy. And it makes your tree feel light and natural. Beautiful. One of my favorite features, two of my favorite features, we hadn't used these at the store in a tree, this uh, fern spray. I'm not sure the title of it, but doesn't it look outstanding in the tree? When I designed with it the other day, someone asked if it had rhinestones. It is lined with glittered sequins. The color is a matte platinum. One spray has five fern fronds. And if you pull back and show that, it in the tree, this entire set of pieces of fern sweeping out is just stunning and dramatic so loved the way that turned out in the tree i hadn't used it before in a stunning tree stunning and dramatic just like us stunning and dramatic <laughs> the other thing that's really different is the flocked norfolk pine so these sprays are tucked in the tree i've used um four of them one's in the topper i've got four across the tree here i think i could have stood stand to, <laughs> stood to use a couple more mm -hmm. uh they drape out of the tree really floppy and natural they're just really striking and if you look close, the combination creates a nice contrast with the chocolatey um, taupe, poinsettia. taupe poinsettias. Is, this, is there a poinsettia. fur? Is there a title of that? Mm -hmm. I think it's called the fur poinsettia. So that is really just a great modern combination to layer the dark things on the light things. I also used the flock Norfolk pine to support this thistle spray. And this piece... I think it's called the globe, globe hanging, branch. hanging branch. This piece is one floppy stem that has these little thistle orbs at the ends. That's so fun. kind of what I'm calling it. I'm I not sure the title. I love how you use the nativity in your tree, too. Do you it's like, like a focal point. That's beautiful. So the little nativity is aluminum and mango wood. It's only $24.50. When you tuck it in your tree, you just use the, the pine branches. And I bent it around to hold it in place here and stuck one right through the top. Super simple. It tucks itself in the tree, and then we had an ornament that makes the North Star here. So the oh, star wow, I didn't over even notice that. That's great. <laughs> I placed the star over the nativity. I thought it created a nice focal point right at eye level. And this is an enamel mango wood ornament. I only used one, and by setting them up like this, it kind of just tells a little story in the tree. This is a great gift piece. It is really beautiful. So we have extender branches in the tree. I see you have the harmony ornaments all throughout your tree. Aren't they gorgeous? And again, if you're looking to shop these pieces, all of them are on our website. And I've actually linked the collection that holds all of the things mom used at her house together. So you can shop her house, basically. <laughs> you can shop her look. <laughs> and we know that that's an easy way for you to shop. I love the noble fur. That is your favorite. I know Stunning. it is. This is kind of the champagne cedar spray. 
this leaf is a matte champagne color. All of the ornaments tell a color story from taupe to white. And then I layered in this mica pine. These little mica pine sprays are more of a gold tone champagne that matches these extra bow accents. So I wove one ribbon through the tree and then overlaid individual bows of another two types combined. So there's actually three ribbon types, two in the bow and one four inch winding, just lacing through the tree. It's a beautiful combo. There are some uh, frosted pine sprays in the tree too. It's nice to soften a green tree with pine that's snowed. And if you do a few of them, maybe 12 to 15 pieces throughout your tree, you get a nice blend of snowiness added to the dark green that just takes the edge off the heavy green. Beautiful. Well, I love the details. It looks so beautiful. And I love what you did to this mirror. You really, like everything flows together <laughs> so nicely. Well, I designed this during a live and illustrated how three pieces laying together create a swag. So this is the Magnolia pre-made little arch swag. One of the Norfolk Pine four foot garlands and I interwove it with the four foot mica pine. So this design is three individual pieces just woven together. They aren't really even wired or attached to each other. So beautiful and I love this set of ornaments there too. We have it in red and in the mica silver. It's just a cluster on little jute ropes but it comes together like that in a cluster. So pretty. So it's a simple accent. Soft and pretty. You got some little reindeer and just a That's nice simple. That's the vine again. The Snisho vine, there's an ice Norfolk pine in here, the mica pine. I like the freshness of the greens that we carry. This cedar is our classic annual mm -hmm. fresh looking cedar, real touch cedar. Yes. So it creates just the strong contrast. And this green in my personal vase here ties the Christmas tree into the look. It so does. All of it kind of coordinates together that way and creates just a vignette here in this area. Beautiful. Well, let's move to the kitchen then, shall we? All right. Well, we did um, just a little tray on the table. In my home, we have this unusual island situation. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I have a butcher block top island on wheels and I have a stainless steel island. And the way we use them is if I have a big party, I can take my stainless steel high top table mm -hmm. and move it over here and separate them or put them together. We have big pizza parties. Yeah. <laughs> and that way I can rearrange my kitchen to accommodate events. Mm -hmm. And when I'm not having an event, I use the island small and use that table for eating. We like actually breakfast. eat our meals over there yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with those little bar stools. So it creates this versatile kitchen concept. And that's why I did the kitchen that way. Yes. And I love, we just got more of like this set trees? of four champagne trees in there. Aren't they cute little babies? Because that's actually four, four pieces. Four little trees. Now this is an antique chicken waterer from my friend. And she always loved vintage items. So I keep this in memory of her. But the trees... Fit this perfectly. They I don't do. know if you have one, but FYI, this is just the right fit. So cute. Now my Fia Flame is lighting up a vase. I heard that now that I've styled my vase on this tray that these are sold out. Could so be, yeah. The concept of putting a little flame device inside of a glass piece, go for it. Look how warm and fun that is. This is the gold toned Fia Flame and they charge up in the wall with mm -hmm. the USB like cord. This will burn uh, on the timer. It'll go five hours at a time for three days before I have to recharge it. It, it can go for 30 hours, I think. 30 hours mm -hmm. for, yes. Oh, that's on true. That's charge. longer than. Yeah. So this way it turns on every night. I was going to say, mine definitely lasts more. When it doesn't days. turn on, I go charge it up. Yep. And the next day it will come back on again. You can so. also, if you have an open bottom lantern, you can keep it permanently plugged in if you want it to act That's true. more as uh, depending where battery. you use it just keep it plugged in mm -hmm. we've had a lot of fun with these puzzle type items this year enamel and mango wood is really in i've got two of them to coordinate in my kitchen one over here on the tray and a bigger one on my cooktop it just stands over here with my reed diffuser gotta have my fragrances kate said it smelled good when she walked in today yeah winter white of course the my favorite Olin scent winter white fragrance mm -hmm. love love it it's, yeah it is my favorite winter fragrance i've got it burning right over here so our uh displays on our glass doors you know it's always a little cluttery inside of glass cabinetry but i love it we did like a vintage glass on on our cabinets and 
I have the bar area and I have some antique things inside here, but these little pieces sort of cover up the mess a little bit and this little swag is available. All I did was add a bow and they're hanging from the glass with tiny little command hooks. Cute. So it's an easy idea, a little different than the way Kate styled her cabinet doors with round mm -hmm. wreaths. I actually used these as chair backs. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. They were. So the, those pieces, I've got five of them in my kitchen. Just put them on the glass doors because the command hooks stick on the glass easily. Yeah. Here's the other puzzle piece wood item. It's kind of entertaining to play with that. It's beautiful. And this is the Natural Touch um, cedar wreath. And all I did was wire in a little ball spray that is part of a stem. Actually, that's sold stem, out now, I it, think. It is restocking. Oh, is it? Somebody was asking for it, so I was able to get a few more. Gotcha. I think there's four dozen coming. So that's the cedar candle ring. And our cedar, if you haven't seen that before, we carried it last year as well. We have a candle ring, three sizes of swags, a garland, and a stem. And they're the most amazing pieces, and we always... They're kind of on their way out the door. There's a few left, but I know that that little wreath slash candle ring is still well stocked. Yes. And the eight-foot garland is amazing. In fact, I didn't even think about trying to find a spot for that here. Yeah, it's spectacular. I should have. <laughs> I know the people who have already bought it this year or last year, they're they excited know about it. it is the most amazing thing. Uh-huh. This is my beautiful winter white candle. I've told you many times the way this vessel comes in the gift box is my favorite gift to give. And I love this fragrance. I don't, I don't know. Are you sure that's winter white? This is winter white. That looks like balsam and cedar to me. Well, it smells like winter white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, really? Okay, I didn't uh, get a stand or anything, but you know our, our little grandkids need <laughs> a Santa tray. I'm probably going to have to send this to their house because yep. Santa's going to come to their house, not mine. But this Dear Santa tray was so adorable. I think Kate found this at market, didn't I you? I did, yes. I was really excited about I it. I have to remember to give this to their mommy so they can do the Santa That's and cookies, so the cute. Santa cookies and reindeer carrots. So love that for, for a gift item if you want to grab one for your grandkids. This large drop-in is just about, well, we have some. I think we should have some available. But it's just a simple design that I created in a design live. It's the Amy's signature large drop-in. And we were all loving how well it matched this vase. I was going to use my own vase, but this one looks better. So. Yeah, it does. It looks good. <laughs> so we're going to use this one instead. And it's just a really fresh, um, a little bit of metallic in it, but it's very woodsy. And I don't know why you couldn't use this well past the holiday season into the months of winter when we're still decorating with a little pine, especially here in Nebraska when it's cold and, and wintry. The pine just fits right in almost through March. Really. It really does. Yeah. Might as well. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Were you planning on making some tea after this? I could make tea if you need to. <laughs> I set out two kinds because I didn't know what you liked. Yeah. Our Big Heart Tea is very fun to give as a gift. There's 10 little tea sachets but I drink the herbal teas at night. Well, mm -hmm. I'm only home at night, you guys. This is true. Yeah. And chamomile mint is one of my faves. Or this new one for the holidays called Cozy Night is a different chamomile flavor. But they're just cute packaging. Very cute. And I love my Big Heart Tea Cup Kate of Love. That's addicted. my favorite <laughs> from them. And I will drink three glasses of that out of the same tea bag for sure. The tea bag is, re it, you can use it for a couple yeah. pours, and it is a great quality organic tea made by a small company. Yes. So that's why we enjoy using those as gift items for our friends too. So again, here is the space, Amy's look. We have more to see, but all of this is available in a collection in our online store. And just ignore dad's chair right there. <laughs> <laughs> that is the one thing you have to ignore is dad's chair. Well, we always sometimes laugh. you really can't control all of the furniture in the home no. when you're married. <laughs> no, you can't. But the fireplace turned out great. It's so warm and inviting. Let's get that fire got going the again. The Jaden lantern up there. We just restocked that. Someone had asked about those. These are mom's log vases from years ago that I still have not managed to steal from her house. I'm very sad about it. That's something I really am not passing around. <laughs> no. Sometimes I move things to my kids' homes, you know. this is These are glass vases, and I used a Fia Flame inside this one. That's why it's glowing mm -hmm. orange. But the vases have been 
in my life for many, many years. Yes. I'm not giving them up. And I love how you did this with the beaded pine cones. So I was using my mums in this wood bowl, which I believe we still have in stock. I pulled my fall mums out, and this is styled super simply with two of these icy pine orbs. This orb can be a candlestick topper, usually. You can put them in bowls and trays. So two of those are piled in here. I used, do you know the name of this garland? The glass ball light strand, I think. Glass ball light strand is Something just like that. sloppily flopped in here. I just like it looking a little bit haphazard. And then a couple different types of pine sprays. Yeah, the hemlock and ombre pine and a mica pine mica actually pine. too. So that is all tied together. And then I just hooked in a couple ornaments. So this is a pine cone that's beaded plastic pine cone ornament. We carry them every year because they look so good in trays and bowls. Beautiful. So then you just kind of play with it and get the little lights to lay where you like. But this container doesn't have to hold a full-blown arrangement and mm -mm. it could hold a real plant. But this quickly styled little situation is just a bit of pine that brings everything together without being fussy. Yes. Um, we do have the frosted pine sprays in the store. A couple of these are my sprays, but this one is for this year. This is an outdoor safe stem also. I use it in a couple spots. And then my theme for the mantle is skates. So I grabbed the little <laughs> skates and snowflakes. I grabbed the little skate sign because I thought, oh, that ties in so cute. It's a fun, fun idea to just style it up with this look. And those little skate ornaments so are outstanding cute. this year. I think you found those. I, th mm -hmm. I think those are a great price point. They really add some character. And this garland is in our online stores, Amy's Signature Fireplace Garland. Jane does has it come lighted several. or does it come unlighted? It comes unlit. And you know what fits this perfectly? This is just the best thing if you don't have an outlet. I have an outlet, but you can always see the when you go to down. the outlet. So I'm trying to unhook this. This clever little LED light set is indoor-outdoor battery pack. Do you see how it comes with this hook? I've used it in two spots in my home. I'll show you this in a wreath. It holds three AA batteries. This has eight different settings, and they're LED in a strand of either your choice of green or clear. So I simply just wove one strand through here. This is one set. And the keyword there, if you're finding this online at shopmagnoliasonline.com, is cluster light. It's called the cluster light. We've carried them for a few years. They are tangle free, lots of different modes. I feel like my battery lasts a lot better in these, especially I just if you like get the, the Duracell batteries. I like that you can hook that battery pack at the right back there. of whatever you're designing. It also comes with a remote. So the remote is something if you're using it outdoors, you can just lean out your front door and turn your lights on or use the and timer this is setting. The, let's see, the less than 12 foot? It is shorter and it's inexpensive. Foot? I think it's a $25 light set. Yeah, I can't remember. It's the the least expensive of the cluster lights, the shortest strand. Well, Beautiful. that's why we use them in wreaths and it mm -hmm. was perfect for this six foot garland. Uh, here's my small mica tree and these little babies with the snowflakes are embroidered. The mercury tree. The mercury tree? <laughs> okay, good. Mercury Mer tree and then these are beautiful. I love those. They're on wood pedestals. They come with a little wood pedestal. Do you want me to grab one? If you can reach it, you're kind of short. I'm kind of short. I'll show you. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? We should be able to see the base, but I tucked them back there. So beautiful. They are kind of a velvet with embroidery and sequins. It's a so nice pretty. idea. Something different. They're staggered in size, but they are a set of two. So we got snowflakes, trees, a lantern with a glowing cream mirage candle. The Merry Christmas sign looks great up here with your enamel snowflakes. Well, it's good contrast against the color of the yeah. fireplace. So, it worked. And then this is Amy's signature fireplace garland if you're looking to find that. And I wanted to point out how you hung it only on really half. That's right. I'll get out of the way. So there are two nails in the fireplace. The one in the center is at the top surface. And the reason I used a nail there is because there's a crack in the mantle. So I didn't feel so bad putting a nail in the crack. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the left, I've always put one there. And <laughs> that way, you know, it's, it's a brown, it's a gray nail in a gray fireplace yeah. mantle. So stunning. Oh, well, if I don't have a garland on it, it needs to have this look for the holidays. Yeah, that's absolutely. And beautiful. actually I did the garland the same way during the fall season. Beautiful. 
Did you know we have these little bundles of hydrangeas, Kate? Have you seen those? Yeah, I used them at my house. You did? Good. Yeah. <laughs> they worked out so well. This is the vase that I've been using for vase. multi seasons. I love the touches of wicker in my home. One little glass bead stem, one little mini pine spray, and this cluster of three hydrangeas comes together. So cute. Hey, if you're just joining us, Kate behind the camera, we're doing Amy's Welcome. holiday home tour. How are you? I'm Amy. This is my home. So our home is kind of an open concept here, and we live in this space more than any other part of the house. We have, uh, we enjoy having company. We love having our granddaughters over and it's just a nice haven. Sometimes you just need to be able to come home. Notice this space does not have a television in it. No, <laughs> no TV. Deliberately, our focal point is the fireplace. So in the entryway and the hallway, I did use that twinkle light set. Is that what you call cluster it? Light. Cluster light set? Cluster light, cluster in light. In this wreath, this is a new wreath design that Jane made. It's a mixed metal wreath design. And just like the others, the other mantle garland, this has a set of lights woven through the wreath. So you can also use the same set of lights on a 24 inch wreath like this one. And this is three, four different objects. The cluster lights that are battery operated, the bell set that comes as a strand, the wreath with the mixed metals and the little ornaments, pine cones, and frostiness is another piece. And this is my signature wreath bow. So we're selling that separate, this separate, this, and the lights. And you can take your Beautiful. pick of what you need. Beautiful. Is that, what is the wreath called? Do you know? Um, probably Something. Amy's signature wreath. Is it? That would be good. <laughs> that would be my guess. Yes. So you should be able to find that online. And I loved the idea from a customer. I forget who asked for yeah. the idea of putting the bells in a wreath. So we made one. I've had this sign for a couple of seasons. Mm -hmm. It reverses. I know you don't ship the sign. I think the we back don't have of it, it anymore. The back of it says enjoy life, but it is a reversible sign. Mm -hmm. Added a real simple little garland over the top to Slay bell garland to just give it a soft accent because there's a lot going on underneath it. And I didn't want to add a big heavy uh, swag or something over the yeah, top of the artwork. Yeah, you gotta artwork. show off these glitter deer. They gotta be able to stand out. And I love the micro LED garland. That's beautiful. So this is two pieces woven together. The LED garland is electric, it plugs in. It's the twig piece. And then these little crystals come on a separate garland with a brown twig base and they are wound together. So on a live just a couple of days ago, I showed how you could wind them together, join wow. them into Almost one looks garland. Like one piece. It becomes the perfect combination because then our lights are hitting our crystals and you're sure to light up all the little crystals, the beads. Yeah, that's beautiful. They're wired. And that's just laid spiraled lightly through two different pine sprays and two of the same pine spray left and right and this center pine spray added. So it's three different pre-made pine sprays. And the deer is a set of two. Those are so beautiful. Large resin deer. So pretty. They are silver tone, but they have a little bit of a blushy accent to them. It's almost like they did like a champagne over it or something. I don't know. They're so pretty. Something different. I like the size of them. Yeah, they're a nice size. I haven't and done... So you have your porch pot, too. <laughs> yeah, I didn't take it outside yet today. I thought I'd bring it in and show you the signature porch pot that we made for my collection here. Amy's signature porch pot. So pretty. That's online, too. There's more for everyone. Yes. I yes. like gold and frosty together. Absolutely my favorite combo. We picked up this artwork bef uh, late in the summer and I'm really enjoying my blue accents in my entryway. I did switch my rug away from the fall one that I'm using because I love rugs and at Magnolia's if you're local we have a gorgeous rug collection from Surya and you can come in and select your samples and make you know, sure you love it. We have to rugs. know is this a contained Lego mess or this is, is this full out? This is the chronic Lego mess that exists <laughs> at our house for the little girls and I don't know if they're my little girl's Legos or if they're my husband's Legos. I'm not sure. Yeah, right. Legos it kind of blurs together. <laughs> but this has to stay here, so just ignore that. <laughs> it's not part of the tour. I'm trying to show you <laughs> is the vase that I style for every season. And you know what? Uh, this light set is so fun. This is an indoor-outdoor light set. 
there are two branches. The silver branch. That are foil wrapped and they are battery operated. They do have a timer. It's hiding right here. The foil's so fun because it reflects the light so nicely. And we don't need them to look like this for my house. Nope, not but the vibe. Maybe outside at your house, that's what you need. Or you could put them in a kid's room. And then it also can go from two different looks. But here, I just like the clear. Yep. And they look great added to my my planter, my base. I love this oats. This gold oat stem is so neat. It is a chunky metallic finished item that you can use indoors or outdoors. So this is, there we go. This is a single stem that has three different little oats additions. And then this is comboed with the hemlock, the gold hemlock draping. So pretty. Great outdoor pieces, but... For me, I just wanted to get some gold accents going in the space. Absolutely. Looks gorgeous. Lots of things I've been collecting over the years. I have a lot of pine. I have a lot of different fun accents. Yeah. Um, just being in the business. You know what I didn't have time to finish doing? My uh -oh. tree. I wanted to show you these lights, guys, and I didn't have a chance to complete putting them on the Oops. tree. I brought this home today. So at the store, we've been showing the set of 10 clip-on light candles and they actually come with the remote. Let's find some good spots. I grabbed them last minute. I almost forgot to show you, but the little plastic clip and the LED light come with a remote so that all 10 of them, once I place them on my tree, can turn off and on with one click of the remote. Now these are LED babies and they're gonna really glow brightly. They're not yellow. They are very bright. They're very bright. They're not a yellow color. The set um, of 10, and I dropped the remote on the floor. Let me grab that. Mm -hmm. So they turn off and on, and they even have a timer setting, so you can be sure you don't overdo the battery. But you can see how they just easily pop off and on. And the amazing thing is that this all lives inside here. Look at that. Oh, the battery is inside the candle. There's a triple A. You put the flame back on the top. Yeah, it's very fun how they made those. So look at that. They clip into your tree, and I bet you just need one set, but you could put them on the mantle garland at your house. You could put them on the stair rail. And this is essentially a Noble Noel look, and we have some snow stems in it, it looks like. You did some snow pieces. Basic green tree. We do sell this tree. It's the a Belgium. seven and a half foot Belgium. And the Belgium tree is your mixed PVC tip, so it has three different tip styles. A full style, a narrow, and a medium tip style, which is great for designing. I find it really easy to decorate this you tree. You can see it has different modes, too, so you can make it twinkle. This is like the slow fade. And these it's are the so beautiful. five millimeter lights. So these tiny little rice lights, the diodes, it's not the type of light bulb you would ever change. They are not, they're really not going to go out the way they've designed it and how the three parts connect. It's a foolproof look for sure. And yeah. we do have those available to ship anywhere to mm -hmm. you. Yeah, we've shipped quite a few trees this year. They ship separately from your order. And most of the time, just in one, the big ones are two boxes and we ship them all over. Well, hey, if you're looking for a tree and we got it on the road on Friday, it would be on its way to you. For Thanksgiving hopefully. So, so that is the 10 candle set that we're placing on the tree and I'm just clipping them on while we're talking because I forgot to get that done or it basically was a last minute idea. Yeah very cute. But I love the look. This is a combination of all of the reds and burgundies that we've been mixing and matching this year and when you layer it all together the beautiful thing about doing that monochromatic look is that burgundies and reds on a Christmas tree work. You maybe wouldn't wear it out of the house on yourself, but mm -hmm. when you put it on a tree, it looks amazing with little touches of gold, champagne, clear, and uh, the snow softens the tree again. It does. The Beautiful. same way the other tree just takes the edge off the dark green. Yeah, and your little sitting area coordinates as well. Of course, everything has to coordinate. Well, we have some gorgeous pillows this year. We were having a great pillow year, I think. Yeah, we were. So and I love this. This uh, burgundy tree matches the ornaments and the these are velvet flowers. they are glass with a velvet finish quite amazing and I paired that with an aluminum gold deer and then the set of two velvet deer that are a little bit more red and these are really deep red for some reason on the camera maybe because the lighting they're looking bright but they're a deep beautiful red 
Well, they match this new flocked berry. Just a little bit of pine on my tray, um, my candle holder that I've had for a little while. Beautiful. And the things that are going to make it feel cozy in here over the winter, we always have, I have personally owned fur throws and fur pillows and always use them every Faux season. Fur. Faux fur. Yeah. <laughs> but this year we have an even better one. I love this that one is more. Amazing. <laughs> there are more for you, but I think I'll be keeping this one. This is a gorgeous, uh, it's got a white suede lining. Oh, so it's super soft. It is soft on wow. the inside. Oh, and wow, that's super soft. Fur-like on the front, but I love the coloration of it. And there is a coordinating pillow. That's so amazing. So everybody will be fighting over this, I'm sure. Yeah. On the sofa. But when that's you have so leather fun. in the wintertime, the leather feels cold. Yes. So I'm always using the fur-like throws on the surface, and everybody sits on them. It's cozier. Here's the matching pillow this year. And then all of these embroidered pillows that are I think I forgot champagne. to get the pillows in your collection, but they oh, are let's online. Let's get those added. We'll get those added. Beautiful. So we have that one, the beaded embroidered one. These are all just pulled to style here with my look. I personally own enough pillows. I probably don't need more. No, probably not. <laughs> Maybe not, but isn't it fun? It is. There are so many nice Christmas pillows, and just those little touches make your all your spaces feel Christmas-like, you know, yeah. it doesn't take a lot. Just a pillow here and there, a little bit of a, a pine accents, just grab a lot of pine, put it everywhere, get lots of lights. That's some of my favorite I think tips. that's the one thing that's great about your space is that you have lights everywhere. That is a lighted garland, a lighted mercury tree, a candle, another candle, a light strand, your <laughs> Christmas tree, is of course lighted. There's just lights in the kitchen, lights on the table, everything glows and reflects with all this glitz and glam. It's so beautiful. Well, of course, the best part is turning off all the overhead lights and just have the glow at night. Right. That's how you enjoy your Christmas. Everybody knows what I mean. It's the best thing ever to yep. light your tree and sit and enjoy the beauty of a of a glowing tree in your home. All your hard work, you need to be able to enjoy it. Absolutely. So it's time to put your tree up, I think. This would be a great weekend. Mine's long been up. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the look for my home this year. I am happy to share it with you. Is there questions we need to answer yet? Uh, someone had asked about the tree. That is the, the Mercury tree comes lighted. So that is a lighted piece for you already. It is sold individually, small, mm -hmm. medium, and large. And the small on the fireplace coordinates with the large and the medium over by the dining table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many Christmas trees do you have? I have three plus a little one in my granddaughter's room. So that mm -hmm. would be four. Just four. <laughs> just, just four. Kathy's got two trees. Up. I have to tone it down a little bit at home. We do. I do a lot of trees. We so. do a lot of trees at the store. And as you know, we have five collections. If you haven't followed us before, be sure to like and follow right. our page. We're a small business out of Norfolk, Nebraska. We ship all over the U.S. Small business, big style, that's for sure. If you didn't know, <laughs> yes, if you didn't know, we're a mother-daughter team. And we've been uh, at actually Kate's third generation. Mm -hmm. Magnolias has been going now for 27 years this year. So we're excited to bring you the best holiday season ever. Yes. I feel it's been amazing to create all these collections and it gets better every year. The it product does. is more more exciting every time we go shopping for mm -hmm. you. So we're actually gearing up to go shopping again. Yes. In no time at all, we'll be shopping for 2024. Like a month away. <laughs> Char, so do you have a decorating crew? Mom did this whole house by herself. I did this last yep. night quite late. But you know what? For me, designing things like this is fun. It's like playing. Yeah. So I can stay up late with some music and work for a long time. Yeah. Because it's all creative work. Yes. I'm good at that. I think we have enough <laughs> chaos going during the day that mom likes a nice, peaceful oh, Peaceful place. is the key word, and yeah. that is what I get working here at home. Nancy, the squirrel is sold out on the branch, but you can find <laughs> the mom-daughter squirrel I almost online. brought squirrels home to decorate with the little woodland animals. And they I, didn't need any more I attention. Changed my They're mind. selling as fast <laughs> as I changed my mind, but they are super cute. If yeah. you haven't bought any of the woodland animal yeah. ornaments or squirrels, they've been very popular. Yes. And I should mention, all of our Christmas is 15% off right now. Tomorrow is yes. Friday the 17th. It's Pink Friday. It is a small business movement to shop small first. You so might fun. notice some businesses in your community doing Pink Friday. We Check have a whole different set of sales for tomorrow. 
And then Saturday, Sunday, DIY weekend. You're going to see mom live designing wow. a lot on Saturday. On Saturday, mm -hmm. I will design most of the day. Yes. And I have a full lineup of ideas for you. But if you have additional ones, you can send a message to the store if you have mm -hmm. an idea of something you'd like me to design. Connie's been collecting uh, information for great. me. And great ideas, guys. Thanks. Keep them yeah, coming. Absolutely. So all of this is available at shopmagnoliasonline.com. And you can shop mom's collection until it sells out which can't be too long off, but <laughs> we're getting through the season. It's going quickly, <laughs> but thank you for your orders. Thank you for supporting and shopping small. And we will see you tomorrow at noon for Pink Friday It'll fun. It'll be super fun. We're all going to wear pink, and we're going to have a great time with some one-day-only options for you and Absolutely. specials and sales. Very all right, good. everyone. We'll, well see thanks you then. For, thanks for joining me in my home. I appreciate you taking the tour. We'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.